Thank you kindly. Oh, I've got some new cold caller stories for you. Um, I've been collecting them for a while. That's great. And the latest one, you know, uh, it goes back actually when I started this whole tour. The 200, I was talking to someone in the interval, is 200 Village Hall Grow Your Own Gigs, which began in 2014. And it was in that January that I started getting cold calling, first of all, from the power supply companies. And I had, for a while I just hung up. And then I thought I'd have a bit of fun by adopting the persona of a rather affable Devon farmer. Well, I'm glad you phoned. I was looking forward to a chat. <laughs> that surprises them straight away. The guy said, what are you paying for your electricity? I said, well, I'm not paying nothing. It's brilliant. He said, you must be. I said, no, my brother was wiring up the farm next door. I've patched into him. <laughs> I don't suppose you can match that, so bugger off. <laughs> That's how it began. And then I started warming to my task. You know. It was the lady from the Everest Double Glazing Company. She said, would you need replacement doors and windows? I said, well, they might do, darling, because I just broke in, didn't I? <laughs> she said she'd phone back. That. Then there was the accident that wasn't your fault, people. Spent about 15 minutes trying to persuade me I'd been involved in this accident that wasn't my fault. And I spent even longer trying to persuade him it was my fault. He said, it wasn't your fault. I said, it depends which way you look at it. I said, but, 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 but what I, I said, well, I had been drinking. And he, fo he hung up, and that was it. So lately, it's people trying to lend me money. They're telling me that the government will wipe out all my debts. And I thought I'd have a bit of fun with this one. And the guy said, well, do you owe some money? So, well, I'm a bit of a, you know, good as I do. And he said, well, who do you owe money to? I said, well, there's Barry and Vince and their mate Dave in the pub. <laughs> I said, how, he said, how much? I said, about 28 grand. I'm fucking in trouble. I'll tell you that. He said, they're going to break my fucking legs if I don't pay him back by Wednesday. Can you help me out? <laughs> he said, you need to speak to one of our managers. <laughs>
long way home.